Well, hello again. Today, Claire and I are very excited to share with you another of the Polish recipes. Kotletis Habowe. In other words, Polish pork schnitzel. It's an easy recipe, very delicious. So let us show you how to make it. For the ingredients, we will need thinly cut pork chops. Now you could use pork chops with the bone or without the bone. Today we're going to use both. Then you're going to need salt to season the pork chops, just enough flour to coat them. And because we're doing six pork chops today, we will need two eggs, two whole eggs, about a cup of breadcrumbs, and to pan fry the pork chops, you will need a combination of butter and oil. So let's get going. And now we're going to prepare the pork chops. But before we start, we're going to go ahead and wash our hands, which I've already done. Because the best way to prepare the pork chops is with your hands. So now, we're going to go ahead and remove the fat. Now, you don't want to remove all the fat from the pork chops because pork is a very lean meat. So we want to leave some of the fat around it. There. Okay, let's remove a little from this one. There, I'm going to leave the rest of it here. Next, you're going to take either a red paper or a parchment paper. Here I have parchment paper and you're going to place your pork chops between two sheets, just like that. Next, using a mallet or any hard flat surface, we are going to pound the pork chops so they're nice and thin, about one eighth to a quarter of an inch thick. And all we're going to do is pound just like that. Now, I've already done some of these pork chops, and then this is how it should look. There. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and finish pounding the rest of the pork chops. And now we are ready to start coating the cotlette. First thing we're going to do is season it with salt. So you're gonna take some salt, and you're gonna spread it and use your hands. Of course, I already washed my hands. Like that. The next thing we're going to do is dip it in the flour. You want to lightly dip it, and we're going to shake it. Just want to make sure you cut it. You just lightly shake it like that. Then you're going to dip in the egg mixture. And this is really the best way to do this is with your hands. Then the breadcrumbs. And I just like to go ahead and pad the breadcrumbs down like this. Then you shake it. And here we are. So now let's do the one with the bone. You can take the salt, sprinkle the salt. Spread it all over the meat, rub it in, then we're going to lightly dip it in the flour, just like that, and then shake it, then in the egg mixture. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish coating the rest of the pork chops. Now as you start doing this, you might find yourself needing a little bit more breadcrumbs, so add them as needed, or you might need another egg and you just crack another egg. But let me go ahead and finish making the rest of them. Now that we are done coating 
all the pork chops. And before we start frying them, I want to show you something that my mother used to do. When she got done coating all the pork chops, she always had a little flour left over, a little breadcrumbs, and an egg. Now she disregarded the flour, but she took the breadcrumbs and she combined it with the egg, added a dash of salt, and then she mixed the ingredients together and she fried it and what she had was a meatless delicious cutlet and now we are ready to pan fry the cutlet so here I have a medium sized pan I have added about a tablespoon of oil and about a tablespoon of butter you're going to heat the oil and the butter till it's nice and hot. Then you're going to put the cotlette right in the pan. Okay. And then we can fry them to the lightly brown. Now remember they're very thin, so you probably need to fry them for about three minutes on each side. So I have just flipped the cotlette, and as you could tell, they are nice and golden color. Now we're going to cook them for about three minutes on this side, and they'll be ready to be enjoyed. And now for the final cutlet, a meatless cutlet. We go in, put it in the center of the pan, and it's just going to flatten it just like that. And we're going to fry it until it's lightly brown on both sides. So here it is, the meatless cutlet. Now we are done. So here we have the final product, the cutlete. One of the most common ways to serve the cutlete is with potatoes and whatever fresh vegetable is seasoned. So here I have steamed potatoes that I lightly fried in onions and right now tomatoes are in season so here we have fresh tomatoes doesn't this dish look yummy well I hope you'll give this recipe a try and right now Claire and I are going to go and enjoy this meal it's much nicer.